No, I'm just gonna be showing you how to make an indoor secret door. Um, yeah, basically just a nice little door. So the end result will look a little something like this. Open, open, and lock the other one. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a red something cup, but let's just go over here and I'll show you how to build it. And it's going to fill all nice and nice and let's just keep it. Sorry about the delay on the how to and the anniversary. We just haven't had all our employees on, so it's been kind of a pain in our ass. But um, we're just going to hopefully just try and go to break. So what you want to do is you want to get the blocks that's when you open the door. So that's just what I like to start out with. You can start off with whatever. So then you want to take that block away and place the position one away so it's going to grab this block and this one is going to grab this block. Now what I'm going to do is a small step down. Let me just move this back. Sorry, I always get the calculations a little wrong. It's just a thing you can use. Do a nice test again. Okay, so. We got our whole testing up. This is what you should have so far. What you want to do, and this is very important, is you want to take the block that you are using and place it in one one away from the piston you're using, particularly on the bottom so you can program both. That's the reason because once I put the rest on here and activate it, the current is going to travel through this block and activate this. So then what you want to do is just take it how far you're going to have your door or um, redstone thing or lever or the hallway or such. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is just probably be used for a house or a secret room when you keep it during the world. But make sure it's like a good length away. It doesn't really have to be, but that's just what I'm going to do. So what you want to do is hook it up to a lever. It could be two levers, it could be one lever. I'm just going to put a lever, a lever, excuse me, I can't talk to it. Lever in the middle because of time. If you're wondering about the cooking, it is my controller. So, hang on with me. Now it should look something like this. Or different depending on how you're using your room. And this block is not working. Hang on, YouTube, give me one second. I need to fix this. Apologize. Anyway, it should look like this. You just can't. Okay. It's just not pushing it out. Oh, I did something wrong. You guys know. Alright, so my bad, guys. Let me just get this straight. Now it's gotta be one off like that. Like standard point. Redstone. Out here. Try this again. There we go. Opens, closes, opens, closes. Sorry about the um, whole hold up. It was just that the block, this block can push out when that one was activated. And what you want to do is you're just going to cover it up. That's going to be the best cover up job. But let's just get it done for the sake of time. I'm blocking it back here. I'm sure you guys will find a better way to um, hide this, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to do it like this. And what I would suggest is you make some decoy doors that lead to traps or something, just so you know people don't like to mess around. Well, you know, it's me, and you don't have to take my advice, but oh, so you get those. Now, I know it's not the best cover up in the world. But the secret door works, and that's what this is going to be. So, I go, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a rate, a comment, and subscribe. We are still looking for employees. The only requirements are you have to be a funny ass person, funny as hell, 
and just a uh, hard worker. So if you want to join, and if you think you got what it takes, um, just show us a build. Um, tell us a funny joke, and um, tell us what you're good at, and we'll find you a position and put it out. Thanks for watching. Um, look out for the Central Mountain Mansion. I'll show you a small preview, or maybe on the next LT. I will catch you guys later. Bye, these.